Hey everybody, it is Cooking with Auntie Dom. I know you guys miss me because I missed you too. I've been away for just a little bit, wasn't feeling too well, but we are back. And tonight we're going to do something very delicious, very quick, and very simple. We're going to have some nice, juicy turkey burgers. Hey guys, so let's talk real. It took me a very long time to actually like ground turkey. I am a beef girl. And for those of you who don't know, I went on a little bit of a hiatus from eating meat for a while back in the end of December. So I am trying my best not to reintroduce beef back into my diet. And ground turkey, as well as ground chicken, is a great way to start. So again, like I said, I didn't, I used to didn't like ground turkey because I thought it was a real like um, bland type of meat. A lot of folks who would prepare it, it wouldn't have enough seasoning. It just was really, really bland. So it took me quite a while to sort of play around with it and um, incorporate my own flavors into it the way that I like for my food to taste in order for me to enjoy it. So I want you to just sit back and um, let's learn together. Hopefully you guys can give me some of your tips that you use, some of the ingredients and seasonings that you use to season your ground turkey, and I'm going to share mine with you today. Now where we're gonna start is we're gonna start with our Lipton onion soup. This onion soup has a lot of flavor. It has a nice oniony flavor. Um, there's definitely some salt in it. And it will make any burger, whether it's a beef burger, a chicken burger, or a turkey burger, it will make it delicious. All right. So for most of you all, you know that I am a lover of flavor. I love to build flavors. And this is one of my favorite seasonings here. So we're going to add some Sazon Total. It's, um, as you can see, it says it's the perfect seasoning. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it around. I want to take a moment to go ahead and read some of those ingredients. So it has granulated garlic. It has granulated onion. There's salt. There's parsley. There's cumin. There's oregano. So it is definitely a container of flavor. And what we're going to do, let's get that to focus, okay? As you can see here, I went ahead and I added the um, onion mix. So I added one package, just one package of the onion mix. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add that Sazon Total. We're going to add some granulated garlic, okay? We are going to add some onion powder, okay? And we're also going to add some adobo, okay? Now, we're not going to add a lot of seasoning to this, um, to this meat, however, we are going to build on those flavors. And with a meat as lean as ground turkey, and it's really a blank sort of canvas for flavor, is what I've learned. So, you know, what you want your food to taste like is what you're going to have to put into it. So this is just the beginning. We're gonna go ahead and season it up. Just gonna sprinkle to taste. We're not going to add again. We're not gonna add a whole bunch of it but just enough to make sure that our meat is very flavorful. All right, so we are back. If you thought that we were just going to stop at the dry seasoning, you were definitely wrong. I've added some Worcestershire sauce into this, just a couple of tablespoons, and we've cut up a... One thing you'll learn about me is I love my bell peppers, and I love the colorful ones. Yes, the green ones are good, but there's nothing like an orange or yellow or red bell pepper. So we just have maybe about a quarter of a, um, of a medium bell pepper in here. 
as well as a small red onion. So we have the onion garlic mix, we have the garlic powder, we have the dried onion powder, we have the sazon total, you have your adobo, as well as your Worcestershire sauce. So what we're doing again is we are building flavor. Okay, so before we go ahead and mix all of this, all of our uh, fresh seasonings as well as our dried seasonings in with our ground turkey, I have added an egg. And this has been like one of the, you know, best kept secrets when uh, with making a turkey burger. Not only does it help to form the burger and help it to stay together, um, but it also adds moisture back into the burger. Ground turkey, because it's so lean, it's very easy for it to dry out. And there's something about the moisture that this egg puts back in to this ground turkey meat that makes the burger amazing. Okay, so I have gone ahead and used the best utensils that I have in my house, which is my clean hands, to go ahead and mix up this ground turkey. If you choose to use a spoon, by all means, use a spoon. Ground, uh, turkey burgers. So, again, like I said, I went ahead and I used the best utensils that I have in my house, which is my clean hands. And I went ahead and mixed all of that seasoning. Hey, thank you. I went ahead and mixed all of that seasoning up um, with the bell peppers and the onions and all of the goodness. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead. Huh? No, baby. What we're going to do is we're going to... One second, baby. No, it's not chicken. It's ground turkey. Huh? It's ground turkey. Turkey? Yes. So what we're going to do is go ahead and form our turkey burgers and get ready to cook them. No! Okay, so as you can see, I have three nice, big, juicy burgers. sizzling away in this cast iron and it's not going to take long it's not going to take long at all okay I'm going to get a nice crust on one side and then we'll go ahead and flip it you see those bell peppers you see those onions Another thing I like to put into my turkey burgers, but a lot of people are not a fan of it. Um, so if I'm making burgers for other people, I won't put it. But if I'm just doing it for Dominique, I'll definitely add some mushrooms. Mushrooms in a turkey burger is amazing. Now let's just take a minute to talk about how we can, different ways we can cook these turkey burgers. One of my favorite ways to cook any kind of burger is on my old fashioned George Foreman Grill. The George Foreman Grill makes an amazing burger. Um, another great way to make burgers, of course, is on your regular outdoor grill. But if you're, you know, making burgers indoors, in the oven. An oven burger is also amazing. But tonight, um, as you can see, is we're doing it on top of the stove. And because ground turkey is lean, ground turkey is an extremely lean meat. If this was ground beef, if it was ground pork, the fat, once you add that burger to the pan, the fat will begin to render and that will help to create a nice crust on that burger as well as lock in those juices and those flavors. Ground turkey is too lean to render anything. So what I've done is I went ahead and just added just a little bit of vegetable oil to the bottom of this pan. You can use olive oil. You can also use no oil at all. Okay, so as you can see, we went ahead 
and we flip those burgers and we got a nice little crust going on onto those burgers okay all right one of the things that a lot of people they do is they will smash down on burgers don't do when you smash down on your burger, you're definitely smashing out all of those juices out of that burger. So try to stay away from smashing down on your burgers. Now, another trick to making sure that our burgers stay nice and juicy, and because we made nice, thick, juicy burgers, is to go ahead and just add just a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water to your pan and then go ahead and put a top on it and let it steam don't make fun of my old fashioned um, top this uh, top does not belong to this cast iron pan but it works okay um, I inherited quite a bit of my grandmother's very seasoned old school pots and I refuse to not cook with them so don't judge my top all right now let's check out our burger i went ahead and i put some swiss cheese on top of this burger one of my favorite cheeses you can use whatever cheese you like whether it be cheddar american whatever um go ahead and melt your cheese on your burger i'm gonna go ahead and assemble my burger and get ready to eat. I'm excited. So y'all see that nice melted cheese? Now what you can do is get you a hamburger bun. Go ahead and toast it. I don't have time for that tonight because I'm hungry. And uh, the hour is pretty late. We need to go ahead and eat and get ourselves together for the night. I'm definitely going to put some mayonnaise on this bread. We're going to put some ketchup. You can do your lettuce, your tomatoes, your pickles. Hook it up the way that you want to hook it up. However you and your family love your burgers, that's what you want to do. But I promise you, I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to cut this in half so you can see how nice and juicy it is inside. Okay, so I went ahead and just cut it in half. I want to just squeeze it a little bit. Do so you see the juices? Nice and juicy. No dry burgers over here. <laughs> no dry burgers over here. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you will take the take the your you know the time or the chance to go ahead and try this recipe out. Definitely, you know, make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed. Make sure that you, you know, hit the notification button so that you can be notified for the next video. And most importantly, comment, comment, comment. Give me some of your turkey burger recipes. Give me some of your tricks that you use to make sure that your burgers are nice and juicy and flavorful so that I can go ahead and try them out. Again, thank you so much for being patient with me. Um, I'm definitely going to, you know, be a little bit more consistent going forward with posting uh, videos. Thank you for sticking around. And again, you know, I'm so excited. This is just the beginning and I look forward to cooking with you in the future.